You got pork loin, been in the freezer a long time. What are you gonna do with it? Let's cook it. Start by peeling off the silver skin. Just don't remove any meat. All right, so we're gonna start to butterfly this. So when I say butterfly, what I mean by that is I'm gonna slice it right in the middle. Not all the way through, but part of the way through and then open it like a book. So I'm gonna go like that. Not all the way through. Just until it opens it like a book. And what I'm doing is I'm making this all one thickness. See how that is? Pretty cool, huh? And now I'm gonna do a little bit more on this side here. Like that, just like that. I'm opening the book. Not like that. There we go. And I'm gonna do a little bit more on this side. So I'm opening that book up. And I'll just fold that back like that. And I don't go all the way down. Just until it lays flat. Like that. Check that out, y'all. Give it a little bit more of a cut there. That one lays a little bit flatter. There you go. And then what we do is we start to stuff it. So the stuffing mixture is spinach. And I just buy this pre-cooked spinach. Now you could have cut this into pork chops too. Cut it into pork chops and then just stuffed in between each pork chop too. So all I'll do is sprinkle the spinach in here. Like so. Alright. And I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Put them in there. Got some red peppers. We'll put them in there. It's already starting to look good, isn't it? Now I've got some just goat cheese. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Some about spinach, sun dried tomatoes, and goat cheese. That's just so good. And then I've got some more cheese because I love cheese. We'll get that in there. This is just a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar cheese. There we go. Look at that, y'all. What the heck is that? And then I just roll it up. Start on one end and bring it right on up like that. And then I'll tie that. don't be intimidated by tying this you just make a loop in the end and run the string back through that loop and then just wrap it up all the way down it might not look as pretty as you'd like at the start but it'll get there and then after you've got it all wrapped up I love this sound the sound of mad shake 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 all over make sure you cover it really good Here's the whole process one more time. You're gonna butterfly it out just like a book. Add all your fillings and then roll it up. Make the loop in your string and tie it up. Season the outside real good with mad seasoning and you're ready. It's roasted. Uh, pork needs to be cooked to about, I don't know, 145-ish. This will continue to cook a little bit. So I just go through 
and I cut off all these strings. Look at that nice crust. See what it looks like on the inside. Just popping all these strings off. You need to see right where they are so you know if you get them off. Whoop, you can get all that one. I didn't finish cutting them. Now remember, this was a frozen pork loin that we all have them in our freezer and you don't know what to do with them. They're plain, right? Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Here we go, y'all. So see if you can see the inside of this. Look at that, y'all. Oh, oh, beautiful. Nice and juicy still. That cheese is oozing out. Guys, get one more cut. Mm. And that's what you can do with a pork loin. And you can stuff it with broccoli and cheese. You can stuff it with sausage. You can stuff it with all sorts of things. Just don't be afraid to try something new. Thanks for watching, y'all. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. I appreciate all y'all. Let's cook like rock stars!